So today we set up our training electric fence for the piglets. So these guys will stay in here for a couple of weeks while they get trained to the fence. Probably after about a week I'm going to make this electric fence inside here a little bit smaller so they have more opportunity to test it. So it won't be right against the perimeter after about a week. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys kind of what we use for our setup. So these guys here were born um, in March. So they are getting trained to go out on pasture. They'll be in a great big electric fence pen. It's really important that you train your piglets to electric fence before you put them in it. Otherwise, they just tend to run directly through it instead of back up. So the whole point of the training pen is to teach them that when they touch the fence, they need to back up, back into the pen instead of run through it. So what I use for training is I just use these white poly posts. Well, they come in different colors, but yeah. So then I use um, some poly wire, just this braided stuff. I have it all around the perimeter of their pen so that if they do decide to touch the fence and they hit it, they can't run through it. They have to back up. So you have to have a good solid training pen to put them into first. This is the fencer that we use, or this is the fence energizer that we use. I don't know, when I was a kid growing up, we always called it a fencer, but the energizer is this Gallagher S40 solar powered fencer. I put it on, it has two different settings. It has the top setting, which is a wildlife setting and the bottom setting, which is a daytime regular livestock setting. And the difference between the two is the top setting pulses faster than the bottom. So when I'm training up to it, I want it to pulse a little bit faster. And then what I do is I just have this little ground rod here that I pound in there and I attach my ground clip to it. And the red one goes to your fence. So today's their first day getting trained to the electric fence. And I'm excited for them to go out on pasture. They're getting trained to it a little bit later than I would have liked to, just because honestly, we've had such crappy weather and we haven't had enough sunshine to get my solar energizer all charged up. But yeah, so that's what we use for a training pen. And if you guys have any questions about what we use or anything about electric fence with pigs, be sure to let me know. Let's watch this guy get zapped. There we go. <laughs> oh, buddy. A lot of pain for a lot of gain. If you get trained to the fence, you get to go out on grass instead of this muddy pen. Pigs are just such curious creatures, they cannot help touching it. They gotta see what it is and try to eat it. Look at that, they're already like, hell no, I don't want to touch that. But pigs will test and test and test that fence repeatedly, seeing if it's actually real or not. And they know when it's off. So it's a good idea to make sure that they get lots of training in the first couple of weeks. In the first couple of days, you know, it's pretty rough. They're touching the fence quite often, but Poor guys. Sorry guys, gotta learn somehow. Kinda see he's watching himself a little bit there. He didn't want to quite touch it that time, so they're quick learners. Like I say they just they like to test it over and over again to make sure it's actually working. 